Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we dive into India's formidable missile arsenal from the Agni and Prithvi to the Brahmos, Danush, and nearby, and uncover how these powerful systems together define the true strength of the country's nuclear missile force. And to understand the real depth of this arsenal, we need to look at how India's nuclear structure is actually built. India's nuclear decision was shaped primarily by national security conditions. India's defeat in the 1962 war with China was followed two years later by China's first nuclear test in 1964. The subsequent military alignment between China and Pakistan heightened the threat perception further. It was concluded at the highest political level that only a powerful deterrent could prevent coercion and military aggression. India therefore began the development of its independent nuclear weapons capability to ensure strategic security. Moving ahead, Agni and Prithvi provide layered land-based nuclear deterrents. The Prithvi-2 system is a short-range ballistic missile used for tactical roles. The Agni series covers the spectrum from short to long-range ballistic missiles. Agni series. These systems are land-based and are equipped for nuclear payload delivery, giving India a layered ground launch deterrence across multiple ranges. Then, the K-series submarines ensure hidden, survivable sea-based nuclear strikes. The K-missile family forms India's sea-based nuclear strike capability. K-15 Sagarika and K-4 are currently associated with ballistic missile submarines, enabling submerged nuclear delivery. K-5 and K-6 remain in advanced development for longer reach and higher survivability. The purpose of the K-series is to ensure a secure second strike capability, even if land-based forces are targeted. After that, Dhanush ship-launched missiles add flexible short-range nuclear options. Dhanush is a short-range ballistic missile launched from surface ships. Although similar in role and range to Prithvi, its maritime launch configuration allows nuclear delivery from mobile sea platforms, adding operational flexibility to India's deterrent posture. Further, Brahmos and Nirbhay cruise missiles deliver low-altitude nuclear attacks. The Brahmos cruise missile can be launched from air, land or sea platforms and has a range of 290 to 450 kilometers, depending on the variant. Select Brahmos configurations are understood to be nuclear capable. Nearby, a long-range subsonic cruise missile has been designed to deliver both conventional and nuclear payloads. Cruise missiles complement ballistic systems by offering low-altitude flight profiles and high precision. The doctrine emphasizes no first use and minimum deterrence principles. India follows a publicly declared nuclear doctrine built on deterrence and responsible control. At its core is the principle of no first use, meaning nuclear weapons will only be employed in response to a nuclear strike against India. The doctrine emphasizes retaliation rather than aggression, making clear that the purpose of nuclear weapons is solely to prevent coercion and ensure national security. Control over the nuclear arsenal remains strictly with elected civilian leadership, who alone can authorize any retaliatory action. India also commits to not using nuclear weapons against states that do not possess them, reinforcing its stance as a restrained and responsible nuclear power. Underpinning all of this is the idea of credible minimum deterrence maintaining only the capabilities needed to ensure effective deterrence without entering into unnecessary arms races or escalatory build-ups. Finally, air-delivered weapons from strategic aircraft complete India's nuclear triad. Apart from missiles, India retains the option of air-delivered nuclear weapons through selected fighter aircraft. Certain variants of aircraft, such as the Mirage 2000 and Jaguar, are configured for strategic missions. Air delivery provides the most flexible and recalculable strike pathway, complementing ballistic and cruise missile forces. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, 
Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.